Hey friends, today I'm going to show you how I do boho braids on natural hair. This hairstyle is moderately easy and super convenient for my pregnant mamas. Or if you just want to take a break from doing your hair every day, but you still want a cute protective style that is versatile. Okay, so before I get started, I want to apply these flash patch illuminating eye gels because it's late and my bags are bagging. Okay, so I started in the back and moistened my hair using this Le Care, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Curl Rejuvenating Spray. Um, I actually found this in my mom's closet. This is my first time using it. And I will say it's actually working pretty well at detangling my hair and moisturizing my hair. Um, I also added this Shea Moisture Gel to help seal the braid and define my curls a little bit more. I actually washed my hair like a day ago, so I'm not gonna wash it again. Um, because as you can see, my hair is pretty dry and I don't want to make it drier. I normally use Shea Moisture Shampoo and Conditioner, but recently I've been using something new and it's not working for me. Anyhow, to part my hair in the back, I just use my fingers as a guide to make sure that my parts are straight. But if you're not comfortable parting your hair in the back by yourself, I definitely recommend asking someone for help. So to do this style, I just pull out strands of hair, um, at least enough to make a curl, a visible curl. And I found it easier to hold the braid up while you're braiding so that the hair that you're leaving out doesn't get in the way. Then I continue braiding at least about six times before leaving the next strand out. I usually leave about two to three, maybe even four strands of hair, depending on how long and how dense that braid is. Um, I definitely recommend if your braid is a little bit skinnier or um, shorter, you definitely want to do no more than two strands. And then I continue braiding down as far as I can so that the braid doesn't unravel eventually. Also, if you find it difficult, you can use clips and I will show you how to do that later on in the video. Okay, so at this point, I've done about two to three rows of braids and your girl is getting pretty tired. And it's about three in the morning, so I think I'm going to try to do one more row and call it a night. Side note, look how big your girl is getting. I'm seven months at this point, so you know I'm out of breath right now. <laughs> okay, one more row. Let's get it. Okay, so here's how to clip your hair out of the way. You just get a clip and you only need one. Just clip the hair or the leave out as you go. And it pretty much just dangles out of the way so that it doesn't get caught in the braid. This is so much easier than putting the strands in your mouth like I've seen a bunch of people do. And it's also more sanitary. Then go ahead and finger coil the ends and strands using your gel or curling cream. All right, y'all, I'm tired at this point, so I'm gonna call it a night and I will finish in the morning. Okay, it's day two and man, it looks like I still have so much to do. I will say, make sure you put at least four to five hours aside to complete this entire hairstyle, depending on how fast you braid. Okay, so I don't know why I wasn't using 
a detangling brush from the beginning because the comb was not working. I decided to do a middle part this time. The last time I did this hairstyle, I did a side part, which was nice, but I wanted to try something new this time. I wanted the front to kind of fall in my face, so I braided it forward. All right, so let's jump straight to the finished product. Okay, so this is actually my hair a week later and it still looks pretty fresh like i mentioned before you can probably keep this style for about three to four weeks or longer depending on how well you maintain your hair but to freshen my hair i'm going to add this foam mousse by aunt jackie's which is my all-time favorite setting mousse i just applied it to my hair and raked my fingers through so it evenly distributes throughout my hair and I use a soft brush to brush down any flyaways. Okay, this is the finished product. I hope you guys enjoyed and hope you all try it for yourselves and let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for my next videos and subscribe for more.